Hello everyone, we are the 2022 Fall JCS Podcast Club. I'm today's host, David Yu. And right now is a fall, and it's a great time to hike and travel. I believe everyone likes to travel. Some people might prefer staying at home. However, I believe most people like to travel. So we are going to talk about traveling. We prepared five questions, which are, what is the most favorite country you visited? And the second question is, what is your favorite foreign food? The third question is, what is the most beautiful city you have visited? And the fourth question is, which countries and cities would you like to visit again? And the last question is, which country would you like to visit? And so, Emma, what is your opinion? Hmm, my favorite question is, what is the most beautiful city I have visited? The most beautiful city I have visited was Hong Kong, Mong Kok, which is the hotel, the Hilton Garden something. I don't know if I went to Mong Kok when I was younger, but anyway, and it looks more beautiful, but it is still the most memorable. The reason is that I went to Mong Kok during the winter season and it was like snowing and all the stuff. And I remember that Christmas decorations were like dazzlingly wrapped around the street and the fire hydrant pipe that came out of the water was blown. And I remember that pretty ice houses were like created because of that. Also, Chinese and English are totally, completely different languages and have different cultures. And it was a very interesting to me at the time that the two languages were mixed in one city, Mong Kok. So you went to Hong Kong in winter and you liked the snow and the ice is in there, right? Yeah, the kodurim and actually the pipe has popped it, like explode kind of mm. stuff. Was it yeah. on purpose or was it like no. accident? No, accident. Yeah, accident. Oh. Who was to Maybe it purpose? might be on purpose because some people might want to make it. Beautiful. (laughs) They make sense. (laughs) It makes sense. Thank you for sharing your opinion. And now, what is your opinion, Rina? Um, So the question question I prepared is, what is the most favorite country I visited? I prepared, it's actually a state, not a country, but I loved Hawaii so much. There is something about the culture and the beautiful landscape that always leaves uh, me wanting more. Um, it's hard to describe how Hawaii makes me feel, so you can get lost in the natural beauty of the place, even in de- developed areas like Waikiki, but it's something more. Hawaii's vibe instantly calms my mind. More than just a word, Loa is a state of mind. It's leaving your life with love and friendship, peace and compassion. Mm. Um, so the Hawaiian people have this in spades, they embody the aloha spirit, and you can feel that love and warmth when you're there. They love their islands, connecting with the land and respecting their traditions. And they appreciate the same from you. So the things I recommend you to do in Hawaii um, when you get a chance to visit is, number one, shop till you drop and eat till you pop. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so... One of my favorite things um, to do was um, staying at Waikiki to, and buying a lot of things in market and walking by the beaches. <laughs> <laughs> and number two, enjoy history and culture. Um, I recommend you to visit museums and palaces in Honolulu, Honolulu um, making a stop at, at Pearl Harbor Historic Lahania on Maui on the various tours dedicated to Hawaiian culture. And number three, see, see the wildlife. Opportunities to enjoy the wildlife on the islands are abundant. Um, you can watch green sea turtles in their na- natural environment without having to get into the water. And also whale watching, swim with manta rays and dolphins, ride horses, and even see an elusive wallaby. So in Hawaii, you couldn't swim? Did they ban you? No, I 
Yeah, could we could also um, swim, but I could also see the sea turtles without swimming. Oh, either. I think we're different. So if I go to Hawaii, maybe I will just go and free dive because it's very <laughs> famous <laughs> place for diving. About free diving. And maybe you'll go and study more about the culture and history. Right? Mm, yeah. Oh, thank you for sharing your opinion. Now, I chose the question, which countries and cities would you like to visit again? The island that I want to visit again are Boracay and Saipan. <gasps> I visited Boracay for like five times, and every time I went there, I swam and enjoyed it in numerous ways, such as observing fish, trying to go as deep as I can, and wow. eating many coconuts. Before I learned freediving, I played in depth of about two to three meters. However, now I can go down five meters easily, and I want to dive deeper in Boracay. Also, wow. I always wanted to follow my parents when they were scuba diving. However, I did not have a freediving license, but my parents had master and advanced scuba diver license. But if I have a license, I might be able to dive with my parents together. I visited Saipan one time, I think, and I was very, very young, and I don't even remember when I went there. I absolutely have no memory of Saipan, so I want to visit Saipan again. Also, there are many wrecked ships in there, so I think it will be fun to dive in there. In conclusion, I want to visit Boracay and Saipan because I enjoy free diving. Diving in water and observing fish makes me feel safe and happy. Also, staying underwater and looking at the lights shining through water makes me feel like I am in true freedom. It, it is a feeling that I cannot explain with words since I'm not very good and I don't know the feeling the other freedivers feel when they are 100 meter. But other freedivers said when they are in 100 meter, they are f only focusing on themselves and mouse peel, which is one way to do equalization. And the feeling that they are getting is even though they are alive, they feel like they are dead because they are so relaxed and they feel like they are connected to the ocean. And I think it is a true freedom. I wish I could feel those feelings too. I think this is end of this episode and thank you for listening to this entire video. And see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.